Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin. We're back at the movies for another review. And today we're going to be taking another subscriber request from one of my newest subscribers to the channel. We're going to be doing the Steven Spielberg 1998 classic, modern day classic, Saving Private Ryan. Starring, you know, for those of you who aren't familiar, which I'm sure are few and far between, You've got Tom Hanks, Matt Damon, Giovanni Ribisi, Barry Pepper, Vin Diesel, Tom Sizemore, just to name a few. It is a fantastic cast. And as I said, it is a modern day classic. It is one of the best movies of the last 25 years. It's one of the greatest war movies of all time. And you know, there are, I'm sure, Plenty of people who will call it the greatest war movie of all time. Not that war is something to, you know, be happy about. It's not. But this is still a movie. It is still, you know, supposed to entertain people with, with your compelling, like, with, in this, in this case and in most war movies, you're trying to entertain people with a compelling storyline and just awe-inspiring feats and these amazingly, you know, catastrophic things that really did happen, and you're trying to get people as close as you possibly can. And that's what this movie does phenomenally. The whole opening sequence of Saving Private Ryan takes place on D-Day, the invasion of Normandy, and how thousands of Americans and other nationalities, thousands of these troops died just trying to establish a beachhead against the German military. And it's such a powerful, powerful 20 or 30 minutes. That's how long the opening of this movie is. It's, it's, it's so detailed. It's so emotional that you're hooked for the rest of the movie. And it's so, it's so beautifully done by, by Steven Spielberg. To me, this is probably his greatest directorial effort of his career. And it's, you, he just gets such amazing performances out of his cast. Tom Hanks is phenomenal as this mysterious captain who you know, has the respect of all the men that serve under him, but they don't know anything about him. He keeps a mystery. There's part of him he doesn't want them to have. He gives him all of what he does, but he needs to keep a little bit for himself. And it's just this ragtag group of men who, after the beachhead is established, and we've now traversed through a fairly large amount of the beginning of the movie they're informed that they are going to be responsible for saving the life of one person Private James Ryan who th whose three brothers all died on during the invasion and you know, this goes back as a historian. It's stuff like this that I love because they're taking actual events from the past. In the Civil War, there was a particular family. One one mother lost, I believe it was five sons in the Civil War. It ended the family. It destroyed the family. And going forward, you know, to, to make sure that, if, that families could, you know, continue on, it was basically meant that at least one surviving male could continue on the bloodline. And you just get this, this story that this takes them across large chunks of France and, you know, they battle Germans and it's such a beautifully told story, you know, that, like, you're hooked. Every time you watch it, you're hooked. And there's so many positives to take from the story that all the characters, there are some negatives. 
you know, for, as incredible as this movie is, there are mainly two problems I have with this movie. And they're both based on particular actors. And maybe it's not the way they acted, it's their characters. And I get, I get, you know, why these characters are doing the things they do. I just didn't, just don't like them. And I think that's part of it. It's like each one of these members of Tom Hanks's, you know, outfit, they all have stuff that you like about them and they all have stuff that you don't like about them. But for me, Vin Diesel's Car Garbaz Carpazzo, I, I don't like him. I think he's, you know, I think he's trying too hard to overact in a sense. And, you know, when his, spoiler alert, character does inevitably die, it's because of his own stupidity. You know, he was told not to do something multiple times, and yet he still does it, and he slowly dies because he was an idiot. And I get in the particular scene why he's doing what he's doing, but listen to your your, your commander and you probably would have lived and then even more than that Jeremy Davies character Corporal Upham I hate the character so much this guy is responsible for the death of most of Tom Hanks's platoon outfit company, whatever you want to call it, because he's a coward. And it's only at the end that, you know, he's supposed to become this, you know, hero. But if you really think about the crap that he just pulled, I hate the character. And I've, like, and I think that's part of the design was to really, really dislike this character. And if that's what they were trying for, they did an amazing job. So again, my only two real gripes with the movie are two semi-large but still fairly small characters. Other than that, it's a classic. It's one of the best movies of the last 25 years, and it's probably in my top five favorite movies depicting war of all time you know because of that because i think it is truly an all-time great it's right there it's right on that cusp and i think i'm gonna do it like if i really sat down and i thought about the greatest movies of all time this is is assuredly gonna be on the list and because of that, it gets a 9.1. That's my review. 1998's classic Steven Spielberg directed Saving Private Ryan. One of the best movies of the last 25 years. One of the greatest films depicting war. 9.1. That's my review. Another subscriber request in the books. If you have a movie you'd like for me to review... Please consider, you know, putting it in the comments and I'll get to it. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.